Anyone who has researched starting a business has surely come across advice that says you need some type of software, like QuickBooks for example, to keep track of your business finances. For some, this raises the question, do I need a bookkeeper if I have QuickBooks? Stay tuned to find out how to get the answer that's right for you and your business. I'm Christy Van Pay with Prosperity Bookkeeping, and I started this channel to help take the guesswork out of small business bookkeeping. By the way, before we even get into it, if you click the link below, I've actually given you access to my free quiz, How Well Does Your Bookkeeper Score?, which takes you deeper into the evaluation process. I will be the first to admit that QuickBooks does a great job of selling their software to the masses, convincing them that anyone can use it, almost in a plug and play fashion. But the truth is, QuickBooks is accounting software, which means that some accounting knowledge is helpful, if not necessary, to ensure a clean and accurate set of books. As you may have heard me say before, QuickBooks doesn't make you an accountant any more than Microsoft Word makes you a best-selling author. Does this mean you do need a bookkeeper if you have QuickBooks? Maybe and maybe not. Here are some things to consider whether or not hiring a professional to manage QuickBooks is right for you. First, let's take a look at what is required of someone who is going to do their own bookkeeping. So let's take a look here at the requirements to do your own bookkeeping. So I have this little flow chart that I like to use when trying to help someone make the decision as to whether or not they are ready to hire a bookkeeper. So one of the first questions that I like to ask is, will doing your own bookkeeping draw resources and focus away from revenue generating activities? If the answer is yes, and your time would be better spent drumming up sales and bringing in revenue for your business, then you might want to consider outsourcing your bookkeeping. If the answer is no, because maybe you're just getting started and you don't have a lot of clients yet, so you do have a lot of extra time on your hands, so not only do you have enough time to generate business, but you also have enough time to do your own bookkeeping, then your answer is probably going to be no. So then we're going to move on over here to the next question, which is, do you have a good understanding of legal and tax implications associated with accounting procedures? If the answer is no, then you might want to consider outsourcing. Just to make sure that you're staying in compliance and that you're going to have a nice clean set of books. However, if that's really not that important to you or you think you know enough to be dangerous, then you might answer yes to that question, which will move us to the next question. And that is, do you enjoy working with numbers and the attention to detail that it requires? So this might be the one that is the stickler for you because you might be somebody who really likes to look at things from a high level overview. You don't necessarily like to pay attention to detail. Um, you would rather see the big picture. So you might answer no to that question and bookkeeping definitely requires attention to detail. It can be very monotonous and tedious at times. So if that's not something you enjoy doing, then you might answer no, in which case you might wanna consider outsourcing your bookkeeping. However, if you do enjoy working with numbers and you don't mind paying attention to detail, then you might answer yes, which moves us to the next question. And that is, are you disciplined about meeting deadlines? So. It could just be that you know, you're know you a super organized person, you love meeting deadlines, you have all of your task lists you know, in order by priority, and you have no problem meeting deadlines. If that's the case, then I say, you know what? All of these things fell into place for you. You're probably gonna do great at doing your own bookkeeping. And at this stage of the business, you have the time you have a basic understanding at least, if not a great understanding of what you're going to be doing. You enjoy working with the numbers and you're disciplined about meeting deadlines. You should have no problem doing your own bookkeeping. However, if meeting deadlines can be challenging for you or it just you have such a busy schedule that it's almost impossible to do that, then we would go over here to no and then again, you might wanna consider outsourcing. So these are the things that would be required of you to do your own bookkeeping. These are the questions that, you know, is a good starting point to answer so that you can determine whether or not it might be better for you to outsource your bookkeeping or try to do it yourself. If the flowchart pointed you to take the DIY approach, congratulations. You are qualified for the job and you will likely do great. If the flowchart pointed you to outsource, the next consideration is budget. 
Depending on the complexity of your business, you should expect to pay anywhere from 1% to 3% of your revenue for professional accounting, bookkeeping, and or advisory services. This percentage is a very general guideline based on averages, but it gives you a pretty good range of expectation as you start to price out services. If you cannot find that a provider that is willing to do it for 3% of your revenue or less, then it is likely that your business is either very complex from an accounting perspective, or you have a little bit of growing to do before you can afford to outsource. At that point, you have to weigh the pros and cons of paying a little bit more to have it done right while freeing up your time to grow the business to a point that, that supports the 1% to 3% range. It might be worth the additional investment if you are certain that leaving bookkeeping to yourself will result in disaster and costly cleanup. I have given you my guidelines for determining whether or not hiring a bookkeeper is right for you, even if you have QuickBooks. But if you're still undecided or you already have a bookkeeper, but you aren't sure they are right for you, check out my free quiz, How Well Does Your Bookkeeper Score? It's linked in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. By the way, according to a survey done by SCORE, 40% of small business owners say bookkeeping and taxes are the worst part of owning a business. Comment below, do you agree or disagree? Thanks for watching and see you next time.